whenever this face pops up on your screen, you know it's Ladies Digest, and Ladies Digest is a show probably brought to you by the Association of African Universities, AAU-TV, the voice of higher education in Africa. And as usual, I'm your host, Joan Ikuya Iyoha. Today, we'll be discussing a very topical issue, but I won't want to spill the beans. We'll, one, we'll play a video so that you'll get a fair idea of what we'll be discussing, and then you'll meet my guest. Many thanks to GTP for providing this colorful fabric and majestic outfit for making a meaning out of it. Remember, you can catch us up on our social media handles on Facebook and YouTube at the Association of African Universities and our Instagram handle at Ladies Digest. Do stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. Uh, I got flowers today. No, it's not my birthday or anything special like that. Um, we had an argument last night and he said a lot of cruel things that really hurt my feelings, but I guess he's sorry because he got me these flowers today. I got flowers today. No, it's not our anniversary or any other special day. Last night he threw me into a wall. And choked me. And then beat me till I passed out. I woke up bloody and bruised all over. It was actually a nightmare. I guess he is sorry though, because I got these flowers today. I, I, I got flowers today. No, it, it's not Mother's Day or any other special day. Last night he beat me again and again and again. It was worse, much worse than any other day before. <laughs> he wanted to sleep with me and I'm on my period, so I wasn't up for it. A couple of kicks, punches to the face and he had his way. <laughs> I got flowers today, and today is actually a very special day. It's the day of my funeral. Last night he beat me to death. If only I had the courage and the strength to leave him, maybe I wouldn't have gotten flowers today. Meet our guest, Elsie Otima Otu Ewuku, an event planner and caterer. She also MCs for events. She is single, but then she says she is a mother of nations. She is passionate about the things of God, reaching out to the youth and young ladies in order to make a difference. Her hobbies are cooking, writing, speaking, mentoring, and singing. And she prefers to be called Lady Otima. Augusta Asantua Boatin, also known as Obaya, is a journalist and social entrepreneur. She has a communication and advocacy organization that runs programs and initiatives towards the empowerment and self-development of young people, especially girls. Her hobbies are reading, watching movies, researching, and sometimes watching Ted Talks. Welcome back. In case you just joined us, this is still Ladies Digest and you've not missed a thing. And by now, I know you would have been able to deduce what we'll be discussing today from the video. And we're talking about violence against women or gender-based violence. And we'll be focusing on domestic abuse. But before we go deep into the conversation, I want to read a statistics from the UN Women, which says that gender on which talks about um, statistics on gender-based violence and it says that it is estimated that 35 percent of women 
worldwide have experienced either physical and or sexual intimate partner violence or sexual violence by a non-partner, not including sexual harassment and at some point in their lives. Well, I wouldn't want to talk much because I have a beautiful guest who would be interacting with me and it's going to be a very interactive se session. So at this point, I would introduce my guest to you, Miss Augusta Asantua Boatin. Hope I pronounced it yeah, right. <laughs> also known as Ya Obaya. She prepares Obaya. Welcome to our show, Thank Obaya. You. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, how are you? I'm well. All right. I'm doing so well. All right. So per your introduction, um, you run a communications and advocacy organization exactly. on about women. So it's mainly about young girls and women, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So would you want to give us a brief on that? Well, so um, I run this communication and advocacy organization okay. where we run programs for young girls. Okay. Um, uh, basically on their health, their education, and their self-empowerment. And currently we are running a documentary series. Okay. It's called the Powerhouse Series. Okay. Where we, we interview women in different careers as a way of inspiring young people. Okay, sure. And then we have internship opportunities as well for them. So we're not only talking to them about aspiring to be great, but we're also bringing women in those careers yeah. very close to them so to be okay. able to learn practical experiences from them as well. Okay. And um, I've also served as a UN representative wow. under the UN Powerful Women woman. <laughs> <laughs> at the Model UN okay. Ghana Conference. Wow last year yeah. and this year i was there i was um, an official and um, it's also basically a conference where we come together as young people t modeling the u.n sure. to to talk and to come up with very strategic and sustainable resolutions that we can use as a as a, a continent to be able to solve problems that we face yeah. oh wow wow that's very great Thank i you. have a powerful woman wow. in my midst i do have a powerful woman <laughs> too yeah so today we are talking about um, gender-based violence but and we are streamlining it to domestic violence sure. domestic abuse so let's say for instance i'm a young girl i'm just 18 years and i have not heard of that word before i come to you as a big sister how would you explain the word abuse? We have to get the general overview exactly. before we streamline it. So how would you explain abuse to me, the word abuse that I would understand? So in a very, in very simple yeah, term, term, abuse to me is, is, is a behavior of one person to another person constantly or they are constantly yeah. reoccurring that harms or negatively affects the other person. Okay. That's basically a, a yeah. abuse. So, so it has to be constant. Yes, it has once, to be. Once, twice, yeah. it's not really. An no, abuse. no. But once, twice is still, is still, okay. is still abuse. Like okay. I, I will put it under yeah. the same umbrella. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay, okay. And it has to be hurtful to the like it has to hurt the other not one. Not hurt, but. It, have a negative effect negative one way or effect. the other to okay. me is an abuse it's an abuse oh, oh, all right so talking we've talked about abuse there are different forms of abuse yes. it can be verbal it can be can you give us more insight into the different forms and how they occur so um we have physical abuse yeah we have sexual abuse we have psychological abuse yeah we have um mental abuse well it all falls down yeah, to yeah, psychological so, yeah, abuse yeah. and so when we take physical abuse it can happen to anybody and anybody at all can also experience experiences or do yeah. it to another person okay, okay. so let's say i am talking to you or we have a confrontation and um whether intentionally or unintentionally i i, I hit you for the first time, I wouldn't call it abuse. Yeah. But it becomes something that you always do when you have a little confrontation, you, 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 you raise your hand at me. Yeah. It is a physical abuse. When we talk of sexual abuse, I, I can bring in rape, I can bring in um, intimate partner relationship, I can bring in um, defilement. Yeah, sure, so sure. it is 
would even the word you you, you know that oh, it, yeah. it has something yeah. to do with do it, intimacy yeah. with yeah. yes yeah. and then when we talk of psychological abuse or sometimes i call it emotional abuse is when someone um consistently makes you yeah uses your your emotions or tries to dump in your emotions in a way that affects you and this also can be done by anybody it can even be friends i mean i've had friends yeah. who will emotionally abuse you so um we don't normally hear from each other and then anytime you hear from them or oh, you, you don't come in you're always busy, busy. and it's and wow. when it's consistent to me it's an abuse, it's you're, an abuse. you're abusing my emotions you're yeah. trying to tamper with my yeah. emotions, you try to tamper with my mental yeah. faculty. Example. Because so one way or the other, it would affect you. Exactly. Yeah, and I, I, I've had experiences with friends. So I won't even use... Um, yeah, um, like if, uh, maybe an uncle, daughter... Even um, friends, niece. like friends. Wow. They keep going, so you don't check up on me. And I'm like, so it's a two-way affair with friends. If I don't check up, you, you can also check up. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. consistent with you. You're always pointing fingers at me, being the bad person. But you also don't check up. So to me, it's, it's equally an abuse. Then I think I've, I, I'm a culprit. <laughs> well, everybody has. Yeah, everybody one way has. or the yeah. other. Yeah, but yeah. yours is when it's becoming very consistent. Exactly. Like you exactly. keep doing it. So then. it makes you feel bad. You, you were friends, but it makes you feel very bad. You, you always want to do right yeah. by the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, let's, let's go narrow it down now to the domestic abuse. We watched the video, the yeah. I Got Flowers. It's a very, very touching video. I remember yeah. the first time I watched it, I cried. <laughs> it, was, it was, initially I was happy, I was like, wow, I got flowers, it's, it's good. Yeah. But then the reasons, <laughs> the situations, <laughs> incidences that exactly. were answered the flowers, they were not, they were not good. Exactly. What would you define as domestic abuse? So domestic abuse, um, in my own very simple yeah. definition, is where two partners, whether married or unmarried, okay. um, in a relationship or whatever that it is, yeah. and then one person, mostly, um, it's the man. I'm not being by but mostly, <laughs> but w women yeah. too do yeah, sure, that. Yeah, sure. So yeah. Sure. And if we're basing it on the video, then it's obviously it's the, yeah, man. the man. Yeah. So yeah. where the man, I and sometimes it's not even. It can be physical, mm. but it's still domestic. It's still, yeah, it's still it can be sexual, it's yeah, still domestic. domestic. It can be psychological, it's still emotional. domestic. But looking at this, it was a young lady and a guy, yeah. I don't know if they are married, yeah. where the guy physically abuses her. Yes, yeah. You see Always. bruises all over her face. Always. And then any time he does that, then pops up a flower. I'm sorry. Because women... We are soft. Almost. Yeah, and so I mean a flower can just put everything behind us and we move on. And the lady, I mean, the lady appreciated that. Yeah, so the guy yeah. kept doing, doing it until she died. And then the last flower ended up at the grave, that where obviously she kind of hold it or feel, or, or feel it. it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, domestic violence happens in our homes between two people, most especially in, in a relationship or marriage. But taking into consideration all the three forms of abuse that I mentioned, the physical, yeah. the sexual, and the emotional the abuse. Emotional. So, would you say that, still on that video, would you say that the guy was doing it consciously or unconsciously? Was he aware of what he was doing? I think he was. And I think because the lady from the scratch did not make him understand or put him in his place or let him understand, he felt like, I mean, if I do it and I go back to her with the flower, I mean, she'll forgive me and yeah. then we'll move on. Move on. So it was intentional. He knew what he was doing. Yeah. He knew what he, he was, was doing. He was but he knew okay. that I the lady will always come around. Flower. Even if she get angry, she always come around, come around with a flower. With a flower. Yeah. yeah, but um, I know, looking at the other side of the coin, I know at times some ladies can be the cause of <laughs> abuse. I've heard, okay, back in Nigeria and my former place of work, I heard a colleague saying that a neighbor mm -hmm. was sitting one day, she was just sitting outside and she was like, hey, my body, I'm feeling some, and my husband hasn't beaten me for like two days. And, <laughs> and today I must do something so that he will beat me. It's, um, my body isn't okay, I don't feel okay. <laughs> 
can it be true or can it be a case that there are some times when we women, we warrant the abuse, we warrant whatever comes to us? So uh, I say this in two forms. Yeah. So let's take the Nigerian woman, for yeah. example. She feels that her husband has not beat her for a couple of days because she has not done anything. What brought about that kind of mentality? Yeah. That kind of, because I, I, I don't see a normal human being doing that. Prefers to be bitten to feel good about themselves. So I think it, it, it has been something that has occurred over years, so over time. Sagged. So I have sagged to it. So she feels good when she's bitten. Probably because of what, probably from previous relationships, sure. or even from that same husband. So now she's, she's, she's so serious. okay with it. I mean, she feels it, it's so okay with it. And I've seen some before. I, I, I had a neighbor and the wife, they were not married legally but they okay, were living together and the guy who just beats the lady f for nothing not he just married. beat her and insult her insult. every single time and every time she will come back every single time she will come back so one time i asked her and she said oh well he's the one that's taking care of me he's the one that took me to school really so close. i in a way i kind of owe him no, but i still didn't understand exactly but wow. it doesn't mean you should die you die and then what he it doesn't pay woman. the debt. It that you don't appreciate someone by laying your but life for the good they've done by laying your life. It's not done. We're not Jesus Christ. We obviously can't do that. And so, yeah. um, when you say we women were ranted, I I'm really trying very difficult to yeah. agree with it sure. because women as human beings have their shortcomings, they have their weaknesses. And so, um, if I'm living with you, and I'm the man, you're the woman, I should know your weakness. Definitely. I should know where you fall short. Definitely. And then I should also make that conscious effort to, to manage that, to control it. There is no reason, there is no absolute reason why a man should or a woman raise should raise his or her hand on a, their partner. partner yeah. Regardless of yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean, if you can't stand the person's attitude, you leave. Or you have a very sincere conversation. You try to manage whatever weakness that they have, yeah. control it. But raising your hand is like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a no no. It's a it's no no. A no, -no for yeah, me. I even know of a gentleman, it's a story I heard, whenever his wife makes him so pissed and it's about raising up his, he will just leave the house and just go sit somewhere. I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. that's a way of trying to control whatever emotion yeah. that has come up at that time. Yeah. Raising your hand, I mean, then it makes them feel, well, I'm, I'm the man. And, but it really, you don't owe the woman. Even if you married her, you don't owe oh, her yeah. in any way. Raising your hand at a woman, it, it says a lot about who you are and even yeah. your personality. Sure, sure, sure. So, sure. I mean, whatever that the woman do or whatever that the man do, there's no way you should raise your hand. It's, it's a no-no. It's, it's yeah, no -no. yeah. Because if, if as a man or a woman, you know your, your temperament, you know you are very temperamental, that's where, as you said, a very mature discussion should come in. Exactly. And you should be able to settle your exactly. issues. Yeah, we'll go for tips in one and we'll be back. Domestic abuse is an abuse in domestic settings such as in marriage or cohabitation. An abuse is the act of treating a person with cruelty or violence regularly or repeatedly. According to the latest statistics, 51% of African women report that being beaten by their husbands is justified. In a study done by the WHO, it was found that 60,000 women and children are victims of domestic violence in South Africa. Some causes of domestic violence are disagreements with intimate partner, financial issues, anger escalation, jealousy and envy. Women and domestic abuse survivors can end up with physical, emotional or psychological changes. Some are bruises, sexual dysfunction, depression, inferiority complex and post-traumatic stress disorder including flashbacks, nightmares, severe anxiety and uncontrolled thoughts. Ring the police if you witness any occurrence of domestic abuse, publicly speak up against it and show your children how to live a healthy, respectful relationship. This has been Testing One. My name is Ajo Omi. Enjoy the day. Welcome back from the 51 session and I've just been joined by another guest, Lady Otema, the big, bold and beautiful Lady Otema. She is the CEO of Idea Hub Innovation and she's currently working on a ladies-oriented project. 
um, Coco Bata. Welcome, Lydia. Thank Tima. you so much. How are you? I'm doing good, and yourself? All right, I'm very, very good. Okay. And welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're sure. welcome. So, before we go into um, the topic abuse, domestic abuse, I want you to talk about your project. Just in two minutes, tell us about um, Coco Bata. Okay, Coco Bata is actually a stage play okay. for ladies. Okay. It's a stage play for ladies. And it's we, we highlighted the cocoa butter because we have realized that cocoa butter makes a lady's skin beautiful, but that is not the essence of why cocoa butter. Okay. We have chosen cocoa butter because we are going to let, we are letting people know that women are smooth on their skin and wow. women are smooth to be a part of. Wow. So that's why we chose the topic cocoa butter. And it's basically a stage play to let the men and the women out there know that we are that we are. Without us, they are not what they are. Wow. Yes. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're talking about um, gender-based violence okay. and we're streamlining it down to domestic abuse. Okay. So in your late, in a very late time, I come to you, I'm a young girl. I just I've just come across the word abuse, domestic abuse. But we want to get a very general overview of abuse. How would you define abuse to me that I would understand? Okay, I will, I will not define abuse, but I will okay. tell you about abuse. Okay. Abuse is what you are doing to someone that the person does not like or the person finds offense on. Okay. Okay. You see, if you are doing something to someone and the person says if the person is not happy about, about it, it, it's an abuse. Many a times people want to be molested before they term it as an abuse. But abuse is not just about molesting, it's about doing something to make someone unhappy. That is how I would define abuse. So what would, how would you define molest? I know we are not talking about okay. it, but since you mentioned so it. Molesting is more or less like having a child and killing the child with rods, big bamboo, like doing something crazy that you, you realize after a while, you sit and go like, did I really do this to the child? Like you've gone out of board. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. So how definitely abuse comes in different forms. Exactly. How, what are the different forms of abuse you, that you'll be able to tell us about? When we are talking about women, let me take a yeah. married woman per se. Yeah. I don't like specifics. I like to go straight to what it is. Yeah. You know, when you come to abuse for a woman who is married, okay. a woman okay. who doesn't feed the husband has abused the husband. Wow. A man doesn't, who take, doesn't take care of the woman has abused the wife. It's not about taking care by giving just man, but caring okay. for the woman is also an abuse if you are not doing it. Okay. A woman who doesn't also put food on the table for the husband for a whole month when she's available has abused the husband. So if I want to give forms of abuse, I have thousands of forms of abuse, but they are not defined in the books yes. that we read. Yeah, yeah, abuse yeah, yeah. are so many, there are so many ways of abuse. And so we as women have to address it in various ways for people to really attract the real red of abuse. So when women are on the pulpit or when women are doing things that they ought to be done, people don't judge, but they, if they are judgment, they have abused the woman. Wow, wow, yes. wow. So we see in some situations, um, some ladies really um, provoke their men to beat them. But and some will tell you that it's out of love. My husband beats me because he loves me. If he doesn't love me, he wouldn't beat me. Mm -hmm. Is, is, it, is it realistic? Is, is it true? It is <coughs> never realistic. It's, 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 it's pardon me to say, but stupidity for a woman to accept such a beating. First of all, a woman shouldn't be beaten. Secondly, the husband shouldn't beat the woman. If he does, then only because the woman has irritated all of a sudden. He doesn't love the woman again. You don't beat someone because you love the person. You correct, you premand someone because you love the person, but you don't lift your hands to hit I someone. See, so men will say they are correcting you. By correcting <laughs> this one, you don't, you don't just hit a woman. Yeah, yeah. Women, we are very fragile and complicated. No matter how strong a woman is, yeah. when you lift up the hands or you lift up your legs to the begin to make her like a football, you need to go to the pitch, not to pitch her in your room. I do see. you understand? Yeah, so a yeah, woman yeah. has to stand for, and women do not have to irritate men. Yes. You know that this your man, mm -hmm. when you brush your teeth, he doesn't like it. He likes to kiss you when you've not brushed your teeth. So wow. why would you brush your teeth? <laughs> you see, sometimes we need to wow, just look seriously? at the obvious out of the obvious city wow. and move straight to what yeah, he doesn't yeah, like yeah. and just be the fool. Being the fool, out, out, out of being the fool, you can become wise in it. Then now you become his boss without him realizing it. Wow. Okay. I don't think if Obaya agrees with me. I, 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 I am finding it very difficult to understand. Okay, all right, all right. So she made a comment that uh, if you know your 
husband, your husband doesn't, doesn't love you brushing your you're teeth. brushing your teeth before he kisses that's you. that's hygiene that's over hygiene. that's personal i don't know how a man will not want you to brush your teeth and if you don't want your wife brushing the teeth why bitter okay i don't i don't see I really don't see the reason in it. I don't see the sense in it, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Why bitter? That's why I was saying earlier yeah, that when, when you decide to stay together as a couple, as lovers, whatever, you need to know your partner's shortcomings. You need to know even their temperament, their mood swings, yeah, whatever yeah, that yeah, we yeah, call it. Yeah. And then in your own way, make a conscious effort to manage it, to control it. You are in that relationship together. You work towards a specific goal. So both of you need to make things work. Work. Well, I know my, my wife doesn't, I know my husband doesn't like me brushing my teeth, but why? You need to have that conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is how I want it. And I can't always not brush my teeth. Like, I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you come to a compromise. A compromise, yeah. You a meet each ground. other yeah, at, at a point. A point yeah. But no, you don't raise your hand at a woman because or a man. Not because you have to play full. You just don't know. So it's, it's high time that men actually get to understand as women. Like she said, we are very delicate. Yeah. We, we, we are so complicated. <laughs> yeah, sure. So if you decide to stay with me, I mean, I, it all boils down to that, that conversation, that very sincere conversation. Okay, so this is who I am. This is how I want my thing. This is how I was so, okay, so I, I mean I can... I can I can work something now so that I meet you halfway yeah, yeah. so that we work this relationship this marriage for the good. I don't need to compromise or I don't need to put myself down, down to make you happy. happy. It, yeah, it, it yeah. doesn't work he that way. He also doesn't need to. It put is a two exactly. Yeah, it yeah, is a two yeah. way affair. Yeah, sure. We have that conversation. We come. We meet together at a point, and then we are good. Yeah, yeah. So with the video too, we see that the girl kept taking flowers. It kept beating her, <coughs> even for not um, allowing him to have an um, intimate relationship with her. When she was in a period, she bought till she couldn't bear, like, no, she bought till she died. Mm -hmm. And that was the, the last flower, yeah. and it was a special day, according to her, <laughs> because she didn't have, she couldn't hold the exactly. flower. It was on a grave. What would you say, should ladies bear till they die? in the marriage or in the relationship when 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 should it be when should it be or uh, when should there be a red flag that my dear it's high time i left women should not bear anything likewise men okay yeah. so we're using this video yeah women should not bear anything ask me why so with this particular video that we watched yeah this woman i mean you can see was trying so hard to be there for the man. Yeah, sure. Even though she was getting beaten every now and then, she was still there. And then you want to have sex with her in her period. I mean, we are all ladies. We know what we go through when we are in a period. Yeah. It, it's a whole, it's a whole situation. mood. It's a whole journey yeah. altogether. So you need to even consider her. You need to even understand her in that At state. That time. And some. Some ladies actually don't mind yeah, doing whatever so in that period. Yeah. Others don't mind. It's, it's their agency. It's their body. It's what they are feeling. You as the man, you as the husband, the boyfriend, whatever, you need to understand that in that period, I mean, what's, what's so urgent about your sexual days. whatever that you cannot hold on? Maximum five. Six, you beat it means so 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 it means that the lady is like a property it's like yeah, it's like a yeah. thing an object when I need you. it's like an object for him when i need you i use you if you do something i don't like i beat you and then obviously i get flowers because women like flowers women like affection and she was also receiving those flowers, flowers. i mean i like flowers yeah. but i won't get beaten for flowers it, yeah. it won't happen yeah. Yeah. so so but what's your take on um, that my take on this is the why yeah. The woman wants to know why the man wants to have intimacy <coughs> with her, even though she's in her menses. And then the man doesn't also understand why he's not being allowed. So because it is him. If it is ugly to him, it is, it is a white. Yeah. So if it is, I, why, why? I'm okay with it. He's okay. Um, and then, yeah. so but it's her body. Yeah. It's, it's her body <laughs> and it's the husband. Yes. 
So there's a why here and a why here. They, they both do not understand the why and the why. So if I were to be the woman, I would take the why out of the home and go and why myself out of the home and move away till the why becomes conscious. So I need to move out to think why the man wants to have intimacy with me and not stay in the home and let him also stay home alone to think about the why he also wants to have my... So maybe perhaps by chance when I return home, he would have reconciled why that action. So sometimes women also ought to also take action out of their home, not by divorce, but out of the home to have certain time for themselves to know why that situation. Because sometimes if you are talking, talking, no, why don't you understand? You are compromising, you are trying well, to yes, understand it, each other. It yeah. doesn't work. Separate yourself away. Mm -hmm. When you separate yourself, if there is love, you both understand okay. yourself in the distance. And when you come back together, you can now compromise. Yeah, but yes, the case... I don't think she was even given the chance to even ask the why. He just started pouncing on her. And there was no chance. So at what point would you say, okay, this is a red flag, I need to leave? At what point of domestic abuse should that be done? I, for one, I just take first, second, the third time, I just walk out. I know what I am. I know the value. Would Every you, woman needs to know the value. Sure. Exactly. You need to know your value. You need to know what you are, you stand for. Yeah. You, don't need to, you don't need to depreciate yourself. You don't need to, to also be proud over the man because the man is the man. Yeah. But the, the thing is, one, two, three, me, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> I don't would, wait for the fourth time because the fourth get, time is always danger. Would you even get up to the third or fourth I, time? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. I, okay. I'm not sure. All right. All right. So I have because, some comments. Okay. Because let's say if it was a relationship. Yeah. And we always say, oh, you don't know men until you marry them. You don't know someone until you marry them. But even in the relationship, there will be some signs. Signs. There will be something. So you connect the dots. You don't wait till it gets worse. I mean, I can get to the third time, like you said. Yeah. It will never, it will not cross the third time. I will leave. Yeah. yeah. Just like that. We are done. Because I won't die for you. Sure. So imagine sure. the lady is dead. She will run back to another lady. Because I know a lady that died very young. She married. The husband was beating her every now and then. She died in less than six months. Imagine. The man remarried. Nice. <laughs> so she's dead and gone. Gone. Wasted life. And exactly. And, it's and then there's another woman that. who is coming to take over the baton. That's it. And this man feels it's, it's, I'm the man. I'm the man. Yeah. And to put you in a place. No, you don't put your wife in a place. Yeah, That's what she's your wife. She's not your daughter or you some child you are. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Marriage should, or relationship, it should be a partnership, a teamwork. We, I'm a team, I'm team A, you're a team. We are working together. No one is superior. Even though in, in our Christian backgrounds, we know that men are the head. Yeah, yeah. But I always say that if, you, if you're a man, you want to be the head, you should be worthy of that headship. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You should be worthy of that submission that a woman should, should submit, submit to. to you. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So let's, in wrapping up, let's look at the other side of the coin. We know that abuse no, doesn't only occur in ladies among we <coughs> women. It also occurs in the men. Mm -hmm. food. <coughs> what are some forms of um, abuse that you say men, men go through? from we the ladies, I'll, I'll start with you. you know, in my earlier submission, yeah. I made I mean mention that if a man is not fair, it's an abuse. Yeah. Men take little things for abuse. For instance, you, have, you are home as a woman, you are relaxed, taking juice, and your husband comes in. He wants something to say, go to the kitchen. Yes, in the kitchen. Fix yourself. That's what are you doing? It's an abuse. You've abused the man. Because you, you have been joined together, you, you, need, to, you need to submit and say, unless perhaps your legs are broken, say, but you, you can't just cross your legs and be on your phone and you'll be taking juice and you tell your husband to go to the kitchen to fix something for himself. It, it's, an, it, it's an abuse. It's also an abuse when, when the man is it's, it's wanting to have something to do with you. You are not in your menses. You are okay. But you you are just not feel just tired. In the mood. You just feel tired. Mm. Put mood aside. For mood, mood can always be created when he, he starts. It has start. okay. So but that this mood one you issue, are tired. I never even want to hear. So okay. far as he is together with you, the mood is created in the act. Okay. So the woman can't give excuse that she's tired. Absolutely. If the man, you to your edge comes and you feel like you want, and then the man tells you he's he tired. Also tired. Too. What will you do? do? Mm. I see. So those are some forms yeah, of that's abuse. That's what I want to say. Yeah. So, <laughs> Obaya, <laughs> abuse. Yeah, in men among the male folk. I've 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 heard quite a few. Yeah. Of it, and with that particular one, it was an emotional abuse. Okay. Yeah. So, um, 
they were a couple, yeah. newlywed couple. And the man lost his job, and the woman was the one taking care of the house. And um, I mean, it got to a point, it got to a head. Because when the man does that something, you need to go and look for a job. You need to, he's always, Reminding and even in public, wow. she, she, she does it so openly. So it created some, some sort of emotional trauma in the, the man. man. Definitely. And then it kept on till he committed suicide. Wow. Yes, it happened in Takade. Wow. I was then, I think I was in level 100 then. The man committed suicide because one, he felt he, he couldn't cater for his family. And the wife was constantly, in my first definition as an abuse, was yeah, constantly, constantly abusing. abusing her emotionally. So yes, men do go through abuse. But I mean, the disparity yeah, between yeah, men yeah. and women it's, it's, is, yeah, is, is it's very true. huge. It's more, it occurs more in the women. Form. Yeah. So just to wrap up, I've got some two comments from people. And the first one says it's very important for anyone who is facing violence especially physical in their relationship to take it as a very serious no no sign and the word to a wife <coughs> is sufficient and also another says i can never understand why someone who treats a partner like that if you don't love that person let exactly. them go it's exactly. that simple exactly. let them go people find it mm. difficult to let go but before you can let go, don't listen to the heart, listen to the mind. The mind controls the heart. Don't let the heart control you to not let go. Yeah. Let the mind control your letting go, the later you consider your heart. Wow. And people don't let go, especially women don't leave abused homes because one of society. Yes, thank you. Especially when yeah. they are kids. Mm -hmm. and, oh, you're leaving because of your kids. You have kids to take yeah. care of. Yeah. What Why are you say? leaving? What, what would society say, say yeah, the of society. a divorce? But society is not in your home. Not society is not taking the beating you are taking. Society is not taking the bruises you take in the evenings. And if, I mean, I also think that women should leave, especially yeah. when they are kids, because no child will grow very well in Such an abused home. home. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it yeah. doesn't work. I have a very close friend. If I mention her name, a lot of people will know yeah, because sure. she is the next wife of a former minister wow. who used to beat her every single time with kids around. And then she left, and it was a whole lot of conversation in the media in Ghana. The man remarried, and now the lady is doing amazing work. And she told me one thing, that in marriage, when we're a lady, I mean, even before you marry or after you marry, get something doing for yourself. Yeah. Save yeah. money. So it makes it very easy when it is time to leave. Because sometimes women don't also leave because of poverty, of the financial dependence that they have or from the man. Who well, I mean, he's the one taking care of. If I leave, how will I survive? Where would I even start so living? So if you have, have something doing, if you have... Yeah. I mean, it's very easy when the time is, when it's so urgent for you to leave, you will leave you without leave. turning back. Nobody yeah. will tell you. So can I get your final, your last words? Let me start with you about here. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, as human beings, I will even bring in man or woman, as human beings, we need to treat each other with respect. We need to appreciate each other. If someone does something to you as a couple, I, even friends, talk to the person. I always say communication is very sure. key. Have that conversation. If you feel you're in a relationship and it's not helping you mentally, it's not helping you grow in any area of your life, you have a conversation, you try to give them time or space to come around, and it's still, still. not working. My dear, my Out. gentleman, leave. There are so many women who will understand you, so many who will take you as you are. Don't stay and die. There's no glory in dying for <laughs> love. There's sure. no glory in it. Sure, sure. There's no glory in dying for love. Yeah. Permit me to quote as it says, uh, love your neighbor as yourself. Sure. It never said that love your neighbor more than yourself. So <coughs> before you consider anything as a woman and as a man and as a child, you should know that you should love yourself. When you love yourself, you can share the love exactly. with someone. You don't over love someone over yourself. Sure. That is all I want to say. Exactly. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. According to Obaya, there is no glory in dying for someone. And according to Lady Otima, love your neighbor as yourself. If you love yourself, you wouldn't want to hurt yourself. Exactly. So you wouldn't hurt your partner exactly. or another person. This has been Ladies Digest, and I've been your host, Iyoha Joni Kuya. Remember to join us on, um, join the conversation on our social media handles on our Facebook and YouTube pages at the Association of African Universities and our Instagram handle, Ladies Digest. Till I come your way next time.